मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रियंका बंसल फ्रॉम एस के एम पब्लिक स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी दैट इज कंप्यूटर्स इन अकाउंटेंट अकाउंटिंग एंड इन बिटवीन वी हैव लेफ्ट वन चैप्टर दैट इज रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स विद एडजस्टमेंट्स होप यू विल कम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट वेब एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू डैट वी विल स्टार्ट दैट चैप्टर इन क्लास ओके सो टुडे आई हैव स्टार्टेड ए थर्टिकल चैप्टर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग दैट इज कंप्यूटर्स इन अकाउंटिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स डैट कंप्यूटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस विच इज कैपेबल ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग ए वेराइटी ऑफ ऑपरेशन एज डायरेक्टर बाय ए सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिस सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस इज कॉल्ड ए कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम I know yet you are very known to the meaning of computers. Then again, I have told you, uh, revising you the meaning that a computer is an electronic device and which is capable of um, performing a variety of operations which are directed by a set of instructions. Now, uh, what are the elements of computer system? A computer system is a combination of six elements, and these elements are hardware, software, people, procedure, data, and connectivity. Now, we will discuss the meaning of these elements. That what is hardware? Means hard. Means uh, like we are uh, that uh, differentiating the tangible and intangible assets like that. Hardware and software are there in computers. we can say that the tangible assets are hardware okay so hardware of computer consists of physical components such as keyboard mouse monitor processor these are electronic and electromechanical components okay and uh, software software is in order to solve a particular problem with the help of computers a sequence of instructions written uh, in a proper language will have to be feed into the computers okay and a set of such instructions is called a program and the set of program is known as software okay set of instructions is known as program and the set of programs is known as software for example a computer by feeding a particular software can be used to prepare payroll that how to pay the that uh, that uh, employees whereas by feeding a second software it can be used to prepare accounts by feeding the third software it can be used to uh, used for inventory control and like this all the activities of accounting can be done with the help of uh, different softwares okay so set of instructions is program and set of programs is known as uh, software third is uh, element is people people are basically those individuals who use software and hardware to develop maintain and use the information system residing in the computer memory they constitute the most important part of the computer system the main categories of people involved with the computer system are system analysis operators and the programmers okay so people are the persons who are uh, working on the hardware and software and who people are involved in this system analysis operators and the programmers next is procedures the procedures means a series of operations in a certain order or manner to achieve the desired results these are of three types first is software oriented it provides a set of instructions required for using the software of a company okay system software oriented is helpful in uh, that providing uh, instructions for using of software and the hardware oriented provide detail about the components and the methods of the corporations okay and the third is internal procedure that helps to ensure smooth flow of data to computer sequencing the operations of e system e sub system of overall computer system so software is set of instructions and um, hardware is the uh, that device uh, details about the components and their methods of operation and the internal procedure is helpful to ensure the smooth flow of data to computers sequencing the operations of e sub system which is connected with the computer system 
and the fifth element is data these are facts by uh, may consist of number text and uh, gathered and entered into a computer system means the facts which are entered into the uh, computer system are known as data okay there will be a raw data which will be entered to the computer and the final data can be released okay the computer system in turn stores retrieves classifies organizes and synthesizes the data to produce information when desired the which uh, information is desired it will give the final shape okay as per the given data for example bio data of various applicants when the computer is used for recruitment of staff marks obtained by various students in various subjects when the computer is used to prepare results okay so here we will provide the data if we wants to uh, make the result of the students to the computer then first of all we have to uh, put the marks in the computers okay so it is known as data next is connectivity the manner in which a particular computer system is connected to others say through telephone lines or microwave or we can say transmission satellite link through which the computer is connected okay um, that is known as element of connectivity now capability or advantages of a computer system we will discuss a computer system possesses the following advantages in comparison of human beings first is related to high speed as we know that the computer uh, is an electronic device and it is having the high speed as comparison to human being it can solve the problems it can do the work uh, more fastly than the human being computers are known for their lightning speed of operations and requires less time in comparison to human beings in performing a task most of the modern computer perform millions of operations in one second so this is the advantage of computer system and uh, uh, we can say that uh, it is more reliable it is reliably refers to the ability with Uh, which computer remains functional to serve the user unlike human beings these are in, immune to uh, tiredness uh, boredom or fatigue and can perform jobs of repetitive nature at any number of time we know that it is more lab because the human nature is different from the computer we know that the human uh, is a living person he can uh, he or she the human being can get tired bored from doing the work but a uh, computer is a device and it will perform continuously uh, okay uh, the next advantage is versatility that it refers to the ability of computers to perform a variety of tasks it can switch over from one program to another the same computer can be used for accounting work uh, stock control sales and analysis and even for playing games we uh, like this you can see that the computer is having multiple advantages many works can be multiple works can be performed on um, computer softwares by using the different softwares okay next is related to storage memory or storage capacity of a computer is so large that it can store any volume of information or data such data can be stored in it on magnetic disks floppy disk punch cards or microfilms etc the information stored can be recalled at any time and also correction can be done within no time okay so this is uh, related to the advantage of uh, storage we know that the human nature uh, can forget the things but it has uh, computers has the um, storage powers that they can store the information for a um, that they can store a large information okay now we will discuss some limitations in spite of so many qualities computers suffer from the following uh, limitations first that is lack of common sense as we know that it is a device and uh, it will give it will work as per the data inserted in this and uh, so it has no motions no sense okay like this we can say that uh, it is simply lack of common sense lack of feelings okay there will be zero iq because uh, it will work according to the raw data provided according to the programs according to the software inserted there is no 
आई क्यू ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स डेट दे विल करेक्ट द रोंग थिंग्स बाई इट्स सेल्फ ओके सो कंप्यूटर्स आर डम डिवाइस विद जीरो आई क्यू इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन दे कॉन्ट विजुअलाइज एंड थिंक वट एग्जैक्टली टू डू अंडर ए पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन अनलेस दे आर प्रोग्राम टू टैकल दिस डेट सिचुएशन मीन्स दे विल वर्क एज पर द डेट इंफॉर्मेशन और द डाटा गिवन टू द कंप्यूटर्स ओके देर इज जीरो आई क्यू ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स so there is uh, next is that there is lack of feelings this we know very well that the computers are not a human being or living stock that they will uh, feel the feelings of the humans or they will uh, that uh, they will have the emotions that they will change their decisions as per the uh, present condition no computer passes the equivalent of a uh, human heart or soul so uh, there is lack of decision making also because the computers are working as per the information provided to them they are not making their own decisions now some more uh, that limitations related to computer system in accounting uh, we are discussing that uh, there will be high cost of training if a uh, organization wants to adopt the computerized accounting the organization has to train its workers for the uh, in the computers okay so there will be high cost of training uh, for the organization to train the people of the organization in the computers next is there will be danger of system failure we know that it is a uh, that there is danger of system crashing due to hardware failure and the subsequent loss of word is a serious limitation of this system okay so if the system gets failed there uh, the data uh, can be lost and uh, we cannot recover sometime it happen okay so uh, next there can be staff opposition also whenever the accounting system is computerized there is a significant degree of resistance from the existing ska because of the fear that they shall be less important to the organization so the existing staff can oppose this system also and a disruption that the accounting process suffer a significant loss of work and the time when an organization switches over to this system this is due to the changes in the working environment that requires the accounting staff to adapt to new systems and procedures so there will be a disturbance in this Um, by adopting the system in the organization so students uh, in this we have uh, discussed uh, that uh, what is computers elements and uh, advantage and disadvantage and in the next part we will uh, summarize we will wind up this chapter by discussing the more uh, points regarding the computers so uh, make the notes of this chapter stay home stay safe thank you